Every year we celebrate Mardi Gras, also known as Fat Tuesday. This is a day when we celebrate the excesses of life in many different ways. One of the best known places to celebrate Mardi Gras is at New Orleans, where the whole city is one great big party. A friend of mine who lives there told me to make sure that I give him at least one year notice if ever I plan to visit him at Mardi Gras time. That's just how busy and hectic everything becomes. I'm sorry to say that although I've been to New Orleans several times, I've never celebrated Mardi Gras in that beautiful city. My ethnic background is Polish, and in my boyhood Polish community, we celebrated Punchki Day on Fat Tuesday, a very appropriate name for feeding your face with jelly Bismarcks. A punchki is a jelly, prune, or cheese-filled dessert. A tray of these sweet treats are placed before family and friends, and sometimes a coin, a quarter or a half dollar, is put inside one or more of the individual's cakes. Whoever gets the coin has good luck or a cracked tooth. For some, Fat Tuesday almost seems like a frantic race to get in as much sweets or revelry as one can, until the stark reality of Ash Wednesday comes crashing in on us. When my sister and I were children, we would sometimes act goofy, as most children will do. The words of my mother would ring true. In her wisdom, she would say, aha, laugh today, cry tomorrow. There is a sense that in all life, all things achieve a balance. Mardi Gras is balanced by Ash Wednesday, which reminds us of our mortality and just how fragile life is. On Ash Wednesday, a mark is placed on our foreheads. It is a sign of the cross in ashes. As Christians, we know that at some specific time, our earthly life will end. But through the cross, we are offered a life that does not end. Rather, it finds ultimate fulfillment through the sacrificial love of Jesus Christ. Perhaps that's why so many come on Ash Wednesday to acknowledge not our end, but to surrender our life to Christ, who conquers sin and death, turning our dusk into dawn and offering us a life without end. See you at Mass.